Uh, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, uh, as you can see, I am back in Roblox Driving Simulator. Uh, there is, you know, Driving Simulator around me. Um, if you remember, my last video was reviewing the McLaren Senna in Roblox Driving Simulator, and I had $2.925 million at the start of that video. If you look at my money now, you see I have $3.209 million. And if you also remember from that video, I stated that I'm was saving up for the clinic of Yesco. I think you guys are you guys already read the title and you've seen the thumbnail. I think you guys understand what's going to happen. In this video, I'm going to be buying and reviewing the Koenix of Yesco. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so as you can see I am currently in the garage. I don't know why my Aston Martin DB5 showed up there randomly. But as you can see, I have 3.2 million. This is the Koenigs of Yesco. Uh, it's known as the Kungans Macht in this game. It has it goes 280 miles an hour top speed, 0 to 60 time of 2.6 seconds, which is a bit slower than my McLaren Senna. But I'm not using this car for something like quarter mile races or drag racing. I'm just using this for for other races like downtown, around the world, and into the mountains. Just more fun. Just not. Stuff that I need a fast acceleration for. Has 95% handling and 100% brakes. And it costs $3.2 million. I've been grinding for this car for about a week. Um, and I'm very, very excited that I finally get to buy it. Uh, but the other car that is $3.2 million is the Mazama uh, RX500. It's a Mazda uh, race car. I, I don't know um, exactly which one this, what this is in real life. Uh, it also goes 280 and costs 3.2 million. It has a way slower um, 0 to 60 time of 3.3 seconds. It has 100% handling, which is 5% better than the Yesco, and 70% brakes, which is 30% um, worse than the Yesco, which is why I'm getting the Yesco for several reasons. Well, firstly, because the Yesco is, like, in my opinion, one of the greatest cars of all time. I am a massive fan of Koenigsegg and Christian von Koenigsegg, so. That's a uh, main leading factor for me wanting to get the Esco. And also the stats of it in this game are better. It's got does have a better 0 to 6 time, which doesn't exactly matter much, but I would rather have 5% less handling than have losing 30% brakes, which is the main reason why I'm not getting this car. Uh-oh. Uh, I have a notification. But as you can see, I have 3.2, and let's buy the Koenigsegg Yesco. We did it. Oh my, I am very, very excited. I now own the Koenigsegg Yesco. This is insane. Before we test it out, I would like to see some um, new... I'd like to customize the um, look of this, so let's uh, see what I can do. Um, That might not be the greatest. Um, quite possibly I could do that. But I think what I'm going to do first is go for primary paint color. With my primary being white, uh, my secondary could possibly be uh, blue. That looks relatively good. Um, why don't I try? I might use something like this. Um, a fading. Um, that might be nice. Uh, I would like to see. I think I'm going to make my primary paint color, uh, just probably white, um, my second, uh, paint color might be a, a gray or black, black doesn't look the greatest, um, the blue's not the greatest either, a full white's not gonna be very nice in my opinion, I think we might just leave that, the second, um, secondary paint color as the, uh, default stock one, because that looks very nice, um, we could do that or that, that looks, uh, pretty nice. Um, I think I might get a different wrap, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna be opening up some wraps for this car later, um, but I think we'll just leave it like that for now. For our license plate, why don't we, uh, make it, uh, Yesco, hopefully this doesn't get, um, like, um, hashtagged by roblox yeah it says text moderated so um possibly we could just try um 
Koenigsegg. Oh, I can't spell it. There's not enough um, text. What else could I possibly do for my license plate? Um, I guess I'll try that. I'll do that uh, later, but let's look at the upgrades for it. For the racing engine, it costs 600k and it um, gives me an extra 7 miles an hour. Increasing my 0 to 60 time by 0.14 seconds and gives me plus 1% handling. Quad turbo is 940 grand. That's very expensive. That adds an extra 0.14 seconds. So essentially, by adding the race engine in the quad turbo, you're just getting an extra um, 14 miles an hour and like 1% handling. Um, the tires, I don't believe I'd want the slicks. I would much rather have the racing tire because they up my handling even more. Um, and when going, a, when driving a car as fast as this one and going that fast, I believe you're probably going to need that. Need that. Those cost 360, and they give. 8% handling, uh, minus 0, 0.08, uh, 0 to 60 time, and plus 2% brakes. And then the brakes, obviously, we'd want to go for the vented race, which cost 400k. 1% handling and extra 5% brakes, so, uh, let me quickly add up how much we're gonna, uh, need to fully upgrade this. 400k for brakes, uh, 760, 760, um, 800. We would need 1.7 million. Uh, we would need 2.3 million dollars to fully upgrade this car. Um, but yeah. All right. Um, I will before we drive it. I have a cool um thing to show you guys. Alright guys, um, so, as you might be able to see, my money has gone up to 310000 um, that's because it's been about a day since I bought the Koenigsegg, I've been testing it and driving it around, um, I hope you guys did enjoy that, uh, little thing I made with, for the Koenigsegg, because it's, in my opinion, probably one of the coolest cars in the whole game, um, but yeah, I've been testing this car, the car out for about a day now, um, I did get a, I did put a wrap on the car, um, so here it is, that original wrap that I was showing you on the top, I had my primary colors white and I changed my secondary to blue and then put the wrap in the same color blue and now in my opinion it looks really, really cool. Um, I have not upgraded the Koenigsegg yet though, but yeah, I've been driving it around for about a day. It is awesome. Um, first to come off, it is most definitely worth it, um, I haven't upgraded the car yet, but I've already been getting tons of new records for around the world, my very first race of around the world with this car, I got a new record, and then the race after that, I got another new record, and I've been setting records after records for around the world, and other races that I've been taking, like downtown, this race, this car's pretty much good for any race in the game, Ultimate setting the record for, um, uh, what is it called? Um, Wall of Death. Um, I believe mine, my new record now is at 26 point something, uh, almost 27 seconds. Um, that was first on the leaderboard at the time. Don't know if that is, um, good enough. If that's, uh, good because I don't do Wall of Death often, so. But, yeah, um, I think I'm gonna pick, uh, I think the Koenigsegg Yesco is definitely worth it, especially if you can put something, a cool wrap on it like this, um, and then, yeah, um, my new record for, um, around the world is 54.99 seconds, so just under 55 seconds, it's, um, awesome, I've been practicing with this car quite a bit, and just driving around with it and having lots of fun. It is most definitely worth it, and I really do think that you should save up for this car. Um, if you're playing this game, or even if you're just a massive Koenigsegg fan, even if you have the cash to buy other cars, probably buy this one if you're a Koenigsegg fan, because it's definitely worth it. And I also flew into the water, so um, let's just reset here. Um, but, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. I will be um, another... Uh, another video, uh, possibly in a couple days or so, will, um, quite, could quite possibly be 
having this car maxed, I'll probably do that once this car is, um, oh gosh, lag. I'll probably be doing that once I uh, have this car fully maxed. That video might, should possibly be starting out with this car stock and doing a more in-depth review of it. And then just, um, having it fully maxed out and doing a, um, even larger, and then, and then just doing a in-depth review on the fully maxed out version of this car. Um, if you guys would like to see more reviews of, of cars, um, then tell me in the comments, and then I would, and then I might, might make those videos. Um, with this car, we'll also be trying to get the On Top of the World badge, which if you do not know, they're the tallest building in the game. If, um, you manage to get on top of it, there is a ramp that you can use to get on top of it, and I believe the current said yes goes like the, um, lowest car that you can use to get on top of that building, so I will probably be uh, make a video on getting that badge, um, but yeah, um, I might also be making some more car reviews um, for this game, but yeah, that'll pretty much be it for this video, um, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe, and yeah. And comment down below what other video types you might uh, like to see me make. And yeah, that'll pretty much be it for this video. Um, see you guys in the next one. Bye.